Hello friends, welcome back. Now let's uh, create the controllers in this video. Let's add also the link here and create the index page. Okay, so I'm going to open the terminal and maybe zoom it here. I'm going to say artisan make controller. Let's create the post destroy and also the post index invocable also the post uh, not post create because for the create i'm going to use the route inertia just to correspond to the correct uh, component when you navigate slash post slash create so we have created the index of the destroy let's also create the store the edit and update so the edit and update okay now let's open the vs code and register the routes so let's open the web routes and here i'm going to say route group with middleware out and verified and instead of the route get profile here which we have autocomplete i'm going to register our routes so route get first for the post using the post index controller class and also let's give it a name post index then route here now let's use the inertia post create and point in the post create component but in Laravel 12 we have with the lower lowercase uh, the directories so let's do the same also as let's now use route post post and post store controller just here we need to say class and we need to import them so let's import the post controller now let's do the same for the edit route get post slash post slash edit and use the post edit controller class with a name post edit post patch for the update and delete okay now instead of patch we can use put or you can use path no patch no problem so let's say controller import also this one and import this one now let's go to post index let's start from here we don't need the request in here and we're going to return a uh, inertia response so let's say inertia response here and let's say inertia colon colon render and yeah let's render the post index also here we need to say a lowercase because if we come here scroll down not the components but pages as we can see we have out with lowercase also settings and we're going to do the same thing we are going to create the post directory with a lowercase okay uh yeah here we need to return this not just say inertia and now let's go and create inside the pages the post directory and then the index dot view okay i'm going to go to dashboard and select all here copy and then paste it here okay we have the same thing i'm going to change here the dashboard to be post and also let's say both here the title also 
pause and I think we are okay. The last thing we need to do is to register the link in here. And for that we need to go... So let me just open the layout, app layout. We, we have this one, which is the app sidebar layout here. And here we have the app sidebar, which is imported from the components, app sidebar dot view. I think uh, I cannot open it. We need to navigate through there. So up sidebar, let's copy this and create one more link for the post. So let's say post here. The same thing here, slash post, and let's change this to be a book open. And I think we are okay. Let's see on the browser. We have post if I click. So let's go back to post index, uh, index inside the post. Scroll up. I think for now we don't need this RF. So it just we need to import correctly the placeholder. And now let's close and let's come here. Let's click on the post and now we have a post. Okay friends. Now let's add a link here to go to post create, which for now let me just save this as post create. So let's say create save okay title is going to be create post and i think we are good also here let's say create post and let's leave it like this now let's go on the index and add a link let's remove this one I'm going to add a div with the class, uh, let's say flex. And I'm going to say justify and like this. And here, let's add a link. Okay, post create and saying create a post. We need to import this link from the inertia. And uh, yeah, here we have the create post. Just we need to style this a little bit. So let's say text to be uh, indigo 500 on hover where the change to be the text indigo 600. And yeah. Okay, friends. Go to here. We need now the table. And for that, we're going to use, again, the Shatzien for view now, shatzienview.com. Go to documentation and just find the table here. We have a data table and also we have this table. I'm going to use this one. Use the npm and just copy. Open the terminal and paste that and hit enter. Okay, proceed. To install the Add the table. And now we need to copy this. Open here and import. I'm going to import right here. Just we don't need the script because we have the script. And then we have a table here which I'm going to add where we have the placeholder. Okay, I'm going to save and now let's see on the browser. Yeah, here we have the table, we have the create post, and I think we are okay for this video. Next, we need to create the form, store new post and display it in this table. That's it all about this video. Now, if you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.